Nkoyitjo. The president, please be seated. The court is now back in session. I hand over to the prosecution to continue putting the question to the witness. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Sousaroon, we were discussing uh, the uh, telegram that you sent on uh, 23 April 1978, um, which had a request uh, for an opinion uh, to a uh, brother uh, about whether or not uh, to arm uh, the people in the sector. Who was the brother uh, whose opinion you were seeking? A response. I sought opinion from Pol Pot. Je demandais l'avis de Pol Pot. And in reporting this issue to Pol Pot, you indicated that, quote, previously there were complicated elements in the sector and they were all disarmed. Can you explain to us who were the complicated elements in the sector who had been disarmed? Response. As a matter of fact, soldiers when in the uh, barrack or base were not armed. It was unlike they were on mission. Dans les bases, n'étaient pas armés. Ce n'était pas comme quand elles étaient en mission. Who? Specifically, Question. were you referring to when you uh, said that there had been previously that there had been complicated elements in the sector? Who were you talking about? Response. I did not understand it well. I did not know what pas bien. was the complicated issue then. Je ne savais pas ce que c'était que ces questions compliquées. Mr. President, if I may uh, read from uh, the third OCIJ interview of the witness, E3 slash 384, and the E3 excerpt I would like to read is Khmer 00345905 English 00348374 and French ERN 00354238 and we'll put that on the screen with your permission. The president, the president, you may proceed. Mr. Witness, when you were asked Monsieur about Thomas, this telegram uh, by the co-investigating judges uh, and about that part of the telegram, uh, you made the following statement, quote, In 1977, when I was working in Petch Da district, I heard that personnel of Office K-16 had fled. Before that flight, some weapons had been removed because the district was peaceful, but after that flight, all weapons were removed, end of quote. Uh, do you confirm uh, the accuracy, the truthfulness of the statement. Confirmez-vous la véracité de ces déclarations?
Response. Yes, I do. Oui. The situation was like what I described before the co-investigating judges. Que je l'ai décrite à l'intention des coaches d'instruction. And is it correct then Question. that the complicated elements uh, in the sector who had been disarmed was in relation to the incident we talked about yesterday uh, where some cadres hier, uh, from Office K-16 had fled to Vietnam? Is that correct? Qui vers le Vietnam? Matt. Respond. That is also correct. Uh, Réponse. They, they did uh, flee uh, to Vietnam, and I also told uh, that incident uh, before the co-investigating judges. And when you said uh, in your statement that after the flight all weapons were removed, was it a, a particular district uh, where all weapons had been removed from? Can, can you clarify that for us? Response. I cannot uh, elaborate it further. That's what I understood about the situation. Then. Okay, thank you. Uh, can you tell us uh, what response? Did you receive a response uh, to this question from Pol Pot? De Pol Pot à cette question. Response. I did not really understand uh, this. Could you please read out the statement compris. I said? Pouvez-vous donner lecture de cette déclaration? Uh, I'll be happy to do that if you don't remember. But before, si do you, vous do vous you remember whether Pol Pot responded que vous vous to your question si about whether or not? a uh, to uh, arm question, the elements in the sector que vous lui demandiez s'il fallait armer les éléments dans le secteur response réponse yes he did reply regarding this matter oui il a répondu à ce sujet and question. what was his response qu'a-t-il répondu Réponse. He said uh, they should be armed. Il and a that dit qu'il fallait les armer. Et c'est tout. Did he say anything to you about Question. monitoring Vous a -il dit quoi uh, que ce the soit people who were armed? Concernant un éventuel contrôle des gens qu'il fallait armer. No, he did not uh, specify anything else. No, he did not specify anything else. Mr. President, if I may Le read from uh, uh, his the witness's third interview, which is E3 slash 384, and this is an excerpt. From Khmer, de LRN, zero, zero, from Khmer 00 345 905 English ERN 00 347 and French ERN 00 354 238 You may proceed and put that on the screen with your permission. Le président, yes, you may proceed. Allez-y. When you were asked uh, about uh, paragraph two Donc, of this telegram, quand on vous a posé des sur le uh, de ce telegram. Th this is the, the uh, testimony you gave. Vous avez dit la uh, question. Question. And how about 
in point two of the tele telegram 54. Answer, in Pol Pot's instructions in response were that after issuing arms, we were to monitor and then commence combat at once when encountering the Vietnamese. Was this a, a accurate statement on your part, Mr. Witness? Que vous confirmez cette déclaration de votre part. Response. Réponse. Yes. Oui. But the statement is accurate. C'est euh, le cas en effet. If we were to encounter them, si we on apercevait des Vietnamiens, il fallait initier le combat. And how was it that Pol Pot communicated this instruction to you? Question. Comment Pol Pot vous a-t-il communiqué cette instruction? Réponse. I cannot recall this matter. Je ne me souviens pas. Cela fait très longtemps et je ne me sens pas bien. I'll turn to another part of the paragraph, Mr. Sasserun. But if you are feeling too unwell to testify further, please let the President, Mr. President, know. Veuillez en informer le président pour qu'il puisse se prendre les décisions qui s'imposent. Or let your duty council know. Are you able to continue right now? Votre conseil. Êtes-vous? Pouvez-vous poursuivre cette interrogatoire, Monsieur le Président? Une réponse. Since I had been sick. My memory has become very poor, and because I made statements to the conversing judges already, however, I cannot recall most of them. But I don't remember the great part of what we are talking about. Mr. Sassoon, let me uh, turn to the next paragraph of your telegram, and let me first uh, read to you uh, the first part, uh, the first paragraph uh, in part three of your telegram, which reads, in which you stated the following, paragraph three, the issue of the situation inside the party, comrade Sot. The chairman of the repair factory has committed immoral acts with a woman. Now the arrests have been made. Both the man and the woman have been arrested. This comrade was previously implicated in the confession of the traitor A Chun. At that time, the sector monitored his activities, but now he has been involved with these immoral acts and has been arrested and detained. Let me stop at that point and ask you, uh, first of all, do you recall uh, this situation involving Comrade Sot and a woman with whom he had committed? A moral avec qui acts. il avait commis un délit d'inconduite morale. Réponse. Oui, je m'en souviens. Ils ont été arrêtés et interrogés. And they told us that they did not commit any immoral acts. So after we educated them, they were released. Then 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 they were released. Let me start with the reference in here. There is a reference in this paragraph to Comrade Sot having been previously implicated in the confession of Chun. First of all, the Chun who is referenced here, this is the same person that we were discussing earlier today. 
Uh, is that is that correct? Is pas? this the same Chun who was Chun the uh, head of the sector commerce office before his arrest? Du bureau de com du commerce du secteur avant son arrestation. Response, yes. This is the oui. same person. C'est le même Chun. Chun. Now, in your telegram, you indicate that Comrade Sot had been implicated in Chun's confession. How is it that you had come to learn that Sot was implicated in Chun's confession? Sot mis en cause dans les aveux de Chun? When Sot was detained, we questioned him. Réponse. Quand Sot a été arrêté, nous l'avons interrogé. Et il a dit qu'il avait été mis en cause dans des aveux. But then he was not implicated at all in the affair of June. Mais il n'était pas du tout mis en cause dans l'affaire de June. Il avait été mis en cause dans cette affaire d'un conduite morale avec une jeune femme. Et après tout cela, c'était clair. Why is it that you referred to Chun as a traitor in Question. your telegram? Pourquoi faites-vous référence à... Appelez-vous Chun un traître dans le troisième paragraphe de ce télégramme? Response. Réponse. At that time, I did not say that. Je n'ai pas dit cela à l'époque. I did not say who... Was the traitor or this or that person was a traitor? Je n'ai jamais dit que telle personne était un traître. Mr. Mr. Witness, before the incident occurred, in which sought involving sought and this woman, had you received either the confession of Chun or information about who had been implicated in Chun's confession. Response. No, I did not. No. Mr. President, we would like now to read uh, from, uh, the, again, the third uh, interview of this witness by the co-investigating judges, document E3 slash 384 at Khmer ERN 00345903, English ERN 00348372. And French ERN 00 354 236. And again, to put that up on the screen, if we may. Si l'on pouvait afficher cette page à l'écran. Le président. The president, yes. Je vous en prie. Mr. Sasseroun, in the statement, your testimony uh, to the co-investigating judges testified as follows on this subject. Question. Have you ever read the confessions of Chun? Answer. I have never read them. Question. If you never read them, how did you know? Answer. I learned from Pol Pot sending a telegram directly to me saying that Sot had appeared in the responses of Chun. That was about 10 days before I detained Sot. Was this a truthful statement, Mr. Witness? Response. Yes, the, the statement oui. is truthful. C'est la vérité. So it is correct that you received a telegram from Pol Pot, que Pol Pot vous a un uh, indicating that Sot dans had appeared in Chun's confession. Is que that Sot correct? Avait été mis en cause dans euh, les aveux de Chun. C'est exact. 
response. Réponse. Yes, that is correct. En effet. Uh, Mr. Witness, what actions or measures Question, were you expected to take when you were informed uh, by the center uh, that persons in your organization had been implicated as possible traitors? What were you supposed to do when you were informed of that? No, I did not take any action. Je n'ai pris aucune mesure. Well, it says in your Question. telegram, votre telegram um, Mr. Sassaroon, that uh, after learning that Comrade Sot had been implicated que le in Chun's confession, mis en cause dans les the sector de Chun, monitored his activities. Can you tell us what it was that the sector did to monitor Comrade Sot's activities after you learned that he had been implicated in the confession? There was no monitoring. After he was reported, we questioned him, Après qu and mis that en cause, nous uh, he was not involved in anything, and uh, he was alleged Il to have uh, involved in the immoral rien. act. Puis we educated him, and he was let go. Nous ensuite, nous lâché. How, how was it that Question. you learned uh, that comrades sought Et comment avez-vous su que le camarade in avait immoral acts with the women? supposément commis un délit de conduite morale avec une jeune femme? Comment l'avez-vous appris Response. Réponse. It was reported from his group or his unit. Otherwise, I would not have known about that. Sinon, je ne l'aurais jamais su. So it was reported from his unit, and it was brought to my attention. La dénoncer. Et on m'en a fait part. And after Question. Uh, it was brought to your attention, and comrades sought, and the Après woman que were detained. Et que le uh, were they questioned de la jeune femme about this matter? Ont ils été interrogés sur euh, ce sujet? Response. Réponse. We did not question them on any other matters Nous ne les avons pas interrogés sur quoi que ce soit d'autre. Seulement le sujet de cette inconduite. And so we're clear, what was the one matter that you questioned them about? Question. Et pour que ce soit clair, quel était ce sujet sur lequel vous les avez interrogés? Response. Réponse. It was like I stated earlier, they were not questions on other matters. The only matter that it was questioned question is in relation to the immoral act. And that he denies that he involved in any et of uh, the allegations. And after that, he was que ce soit. released. Et il a été and that was all. Et what was the immoral act that Question. he was accused of? Quel était cet acte immoral qu'on lui reprochait? Réponse. I really didn't know much about uh, the allegation of the chose. immoral act. Je ne connaissais pas bien la nature des allégations. Mr. President, if I may read uh, again si from the third interview of this witness, which is E3 slash 384 at Khmer 00345904, English 00305, 
The question and answer that I would like to ask you about from, from this uh, page, uh, Mr. Sasserun, is as follows. Question, why did Sot fall in love with that girl and then get arrested? Answer, because Sot already had a wife. Is it correct that the immoral act that led to Sot and the woman being arrested was an accusation that they were having an affair? Is that correct, Mr. Witness? On reprochait à Sot et qui avait fait en ce qui avait fait qui avait mené à son arrestation était que il avait une relation avec cette femme. Réponse: Oui, il avait déjà une femme. Il avait il était déjà marié et pourtant a eu une relation avec une autre femme. Who is it that had question uh, instructed you that? Uh, having an affair vous a was an immoral act de uh, for which people should be arrested. Who had told you that? Liaison uh, hors mariage uh, devait être considérée comme un acte immoral. Qui vous l'a dit? Uh, I cannot recall that. Réponse. It has been so long je, je already. Si the only thing I knew Tout ce que je was that he was alleged of immoral act. On lui reprochait un délit d'un conduit moral. Now you've said that both Question. Comrade Sot vous avez dit and the woman questioned et la jeune femme about the allegation of an immoral act. Qui Who was it that questioned them? Cet acte immoral, qui a mené l'interrogatoire en question? There was a group Réponse. who did that. Un groupe s'en est occupé. Who were the people question. in this group? Et qui formait ce groupe? Réponse. I did not know them. Je ne les connaissais pas. I did not know any members of the group. Je ne connaissais aucun des membres de ce groupe. On m'a dit qu'il y avait des allégations qui faisaient contre lui, et c'est tout. Je vous remercie. Merci. 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 Réponse. It was in the sector. Actually, it was not. C'était dans le secteur. A proper or a real arrest. He non, was just detained. Non, ce n'était pas une arrestation. Il a simplement été détenu. Where was it that he was detained? Question. Was it Et où a-t-il été détenu? Uh, the K11 security office au centre that de sécurité you mentioned Carole, earlier. Que vous avez déjà évoqué. Was it at the Phnom Creole security office? It is, oh, was it at the K17 sector office? Can you tell us where it was Ou, uh, that Saw was detained? Pouvez-vous nous dire où il a été détenu? But, Response. Réponse. At that time, he was detained, which means that he was not allowed to go out, uh, out of his unit. Sortir de son it. unité, c'est tout. I want to ask you Question. about the next uh, line in your telegram that follows uh, your description of the situation related to Comrade Sot. Uh, the translations in English and French are somewhat different, so I would like my national colleague, Mr. President, if I could, to read the original Khmer language uh, to, the, to the witness and then proceed from there uh, with your permission. Et je reprendrai ensuite l'interrogatoire avec la permission de la Chambre. 
And just so we're clear, that the sentence we would like to read is it's the sentence that immediately uh, follows the third paragraph. La phrase qui suit le troisième paragraphe. The President, yes, you may Le proceed. Oui, allez-y. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to read that excerpt. Le procureur national, merci. Matter, Monsieur le Président, j'aimerais vous dire au sujet de cette situation, veuillez donner votre opinion. Quelle mesure dois-je prendre et où dois-je envoyer So the question I'd like to ask you is, why was it that you were asking Pol Pot le for his opinion on the level Pourquoi uh, at which this person should be kept or where he should be sent? Why were you asking Pol Pot's opinion on that matter? Why were you asking Pol Pot's opinion on that matter? Why were you asking Pol Pot's opinion I am not really clear regarding this portion of the text. Je ne comprends pas bien cet extrait. Pourriez-vous le relire, s'il vous plaît? Allow me to read it again. Regarding this matter, please give your opinion. Veuillez donner opinion. At what level? The person saw be kept or where he saw be sent cette to. Où, où il doit -il être envoyé? So my question is, is very simple. Can you tell us why Le you asked Pol Pot that? Pourquoi avez-vous demandé? Pourquoi avez-vous posé cette question à Pol Pot? Bad response. Because he was already, he had been detained and he had to, arrêté. and Détenu. it is not really just to simply send the person to the Et upper level. I needed to seek the opinion from the upper level as where I should send the person who was detained to. À savoir où je devais envoyer cette personne qui était détenue. And this person was involved in the allegation Cette of immoral act with a woman, and I needed to sort the instruction from the upper level. Allégué, et je devais savoir de l'échelon supérieur. And enfin. in response to your telegram, did you receive instruction Question. from the upper level et en réponse on what to do? Have you received des instructions de l'échelon supérieur sur ce que vous deviez faire? But yes, réponse. after I sought the opinion, oui. the upper echelon replied m'a répondu that uh, it was the, uh, an immoral act that I should un acte educate it immoral them. et que je devais les rééduquer. And who was it from the upper level that responded qui uh, to your telegram? A répondu à votre telegram de l'échelon supérieur. Response. Réponse. It was Mr. Paul Pot. C'était Monsieur Paul Pot. Do you recall uh, when Paul Pot sent you telegrams? Uh, how vous vous those telegrams were signed? Did he use his name? Quand Did Paul he use a code name or signature. alias? Tu, Can you tell us that? Nom, y avait-il un alias ou un nom de code? Response. Réponse. He wrote it by himself. Il l'écrivait lui-même. Thank you. I want to ask you okay. a, a few questions Je about remercie. the issue Je of authority. Sur um, in the case of pouvoir, de, prisoners who had been 
or detainees who had been accused of being des, des, either traitors accusés or accused of betraying the party, did you have authority to decide what to do with those persons? Or did you have to obtain approval from the leaders of Phnom Penh? Des dirigeants à Phnom Penh. Response. Réponse. Before I came to manage the office, there were Avant a few people, four or five of them, who had been detained. Quatre ou cinq personnes avaient été I had them questions, and they were not implicated in this kind of matter. Et ils they pas had some Impliqué dans issues cette with question. the family, so I sought opinions from the upper echelon. Quelque chose relatif à la famille, c'est pourquoi j'ai demandé l'avis de l'échelon supérieur. Et Paul Pot a répondu qu'en raison des circonstances, il devait être relâché. And that's what I did. Et c'est ce que j'ai fait. It. Et c'est tout. And in, in the case of people who had been accused of being enemies Question. or betraying the party, qui who was it that had the authority to decide whether they de should be released, si être detained, Détenu or smashed? Ou Bad. Response. Réponse. None of those who had been questioned should have been smashed. Aucune des personnes interrogées aurait There dû être exécutées. There were some minor implications amongst them, and some of the reports were inaccurate. C'était des allégations. So there was nothing into the core matter of betrayal. Simple, mais ce n'était pas the matter. Pas relié à une trahison. Mr. President, if I may read. Uh, from uh, the third interview of this witness by the co-investigating judges, which is E3 slash 384 at Khmer 00345904, English 00348373, and French ERN 00354. Two three seven, and we will also like to display that on the screen. The president, yes, you may proceed. Le président, Mr. Witness, in your a statement uh, to the co-investigating judges, you gave the following testimony. Quote, question. In what cases? Did you have the right to release on your own? Answer: Cases related to minor and significant killings, like fights or arguments in the base area, and cases not related to politics or betraying the party. Question: What does political cases or cases of betraying the party mean? Answer. For instance, exemple, persons collaborating persons with the aggressor Won avec, uh, or the enemy, Yon, meaning the Won enemy. Mr. Witness, is this a correct statement of the authority, uh, arrange uh, the division of authority as between you and the leaders in Phnom Penh? Response. Uh, that point Réponse. is correct. C'est exact. And Question. was the reason that you were writing uh, to si Ankar uh, about Comrade Sot and asking Sot, for their opinion, si uh, the fact that he had been implicated as a traitor in Trun's confession? What I'm interested in knowing is if he had not been implicated as a traitor in the confession and was only accused of having an immoral act, would you have written and reported the matter to Ankar, or were you only reporting it because of the accusation that he was a traitor? 
bad. Response. Réponse. I did ask him, but uh, I found nothing to do with je lui ai posé la question, mais je n'ai rien découvert ayant trait minor à une quelconque example, trahison. Il s'agissait uh, de fautes mineures, women, par exemple des like problèmes avec les femmes et ce genre de choses. Thank you, Mr. Salsrud. Let me turn now to another subject. Je passe à um, un autre point. Which concerns, uh, Uh, trips Il s'agit de Phnom Penh, uh, after, déplacements vers Phnom Penh et de uh, réunions à Phnom Penh en 1978. Vous avez, Vous avez déjà parlé de certains de vos rapports écrits et télégrammes uh, après, the time that been asked, uh, après le moment où on vous a Lang. demandé de reprendre um, les fonctions de Neng. You have told us about a trip that you vous avez parlé to d'un Phnom voyage Penh, que vous aviez fait à Phnom Penh où vous avez été demandé par Pol Pot to take over from Lang. Do you recall Au duquel, Pot, uh, several vous avez months dit later de traveling de Lang, again to Phnom Penh? Plus tard, vous souvenez-vous être à nouveau allé à Phnom Penh? Matt, que Panyan. Réponse. Response. It happened long time ago. Cela I remonte à bien longtemps. have forgotten it. J'ai oublié. Particularly since I fell ill, I can no longer memorize Depuis events in the past. Depuis ma maladie, j'ai des pertes de mémoire. Let me try to uh, help you with your recollection by uh, reading from a excerpt uh, from your first interview en lisant un extrait to the investigating judges, premier PV uh, which is E3 document E3 slash 367. 367 at Khmer, le Renan Khmer 00251-439-439 en anglais 00278-696 00278-696 et en français 00286-011 Put that uh, excerpt on the screen. Je President. demande à ce que cet extrait soit affiché à l'écran. The President, Le you may proceed. Allez-y. Uh, in your uh, first interview, you Durant made the following audition, statement, voici ce que vous avez dit. Mr. Witness, quote, je cite, About two or three months after the death of Lang, Lang and Lang, Kam Poon, I received a telegram Kampun, from Pol Pot, Pol Pot calling the cadres to a meeting. Les à une In its content, six cadres, including Il y avait Ta Vieng, Ta Lok, Ta, Vieng, Ta, Lok, Ta Kim, Ta, Kim Ta, Lan, Ta Lan, Ta Sophia, and myself, Ta Sophia et were called to go to a meeting in Phnom Penh. Was this a uh, accurate, is this a correct statement, Mr. Witness? Est-ce que vous confirmez la véracité de ces propos? Response. Réponse. That, that is correct. Oui. We did convene them for a meeting. Effectivement, nous avons été convoqués à une réunion. And on this occasion, Question. when you... Uh, traveled to Phnom Penh vous with this group of people. Uh, how did you travel? How did you travel there? De quelle façon y êtes-vous allé? Response. Réponse. I am not. Uh, Clear with the question. Could you please repeat it? Question. 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 I cannot recall whether or not uh, I flew to Phnom Penh or I took the boat uh, to Phnom si Penh. I, I l'avion ou le bateau cannot uh, recollect it. 
The telegram you received from Pol Pot asking vous avez reçu un de Pol Pot uh, you to dans come to this meeting, vous did it réunion? identify the people -ce ce that he wanted you to bring, or did you decide que vous uh, which of the cadres in the sector should come with you qui to the meeting? Quels les du qui vous à cette Mahar, I'd like to Response. It was the order right from the top from Pol Pot. I did not have any authority to convene this person or that person Je to the pas meeting. À à la telle ou telle now, some of the people Question. that you mentioned who went on this trip to you, Parmi we've talked about before, uh, but there's a couple of new names I just want to identify with you. Um, you indicated that one of the people who was called to go to Phnom Penh with you was Ta Kim. Can you tell us who Ta Kim was? Response. Ta Kim was a member of the Region 920. Was he the Deputy Secretary of Division 920 under Tassan? 920e division en dessous de Tassan. Mahal. Réponse. Yes, he was the deputy oui. uh, to Tassan. C'était l'adjoint de Tassan. And we've heard the name Question. Vieng before. But can you tell us what his position was in 1978? Quelle fonction exerçait-il en 78? Response. He was the uh, chairman of the Il était battalion. Chef de bataillon. Is it correct that most of the people Question. who were called to you, uh, called to go with you on this uh, trip were military leaders from either Sector 1 or 5 or Division 920? A response, Réponse. that is correct. Oui. And when you got to Question. Phnom Penh, who did you meet with there? En à Phnom Penh, qui avez-vous rencontré? Mad. Response. Réponse. We met with Pol Pot. Nous avons rencontré Pol Pot. Do you recall meeting with other leaders Question. in addition to vous Pol Pot? Question. Souvenez-vous avoir rencontré d'autres dirigeants hormis Pol Pot? Response. Réponse. I didn't meet with any other leaders. Je n'ai rencontré aucun autre dirigeant. Mr. President, if I may read from uh, the uh, first interview of this witness, uh, uh, document E3-367, uh, and this uh, excerpt is from Khmer. La page 0, 0, 0, en la suivante, 00 241 39 English ERN 00 278 696 and French ERN 00 486 011 we may put that on the screen le président allez-y the president you may proceed In your uh, statement to the co-investigating judges about this meeting, uh, you said the following, quote, the six of us flew to meet with Q alias Hem, Son Sen, alias Q, Noon Chea, and Pol Pot at the same Pol Pot's office behind the Royal Palace. Is this a correct statement? Mr. Witness, as to who you met exact. with in Phnom Penh? Monsieur Témoin, quant aux personnes que vous avez rencontrées à Phnom Penh. Le président. The President. Witness, please Témoin, hold on. Veuillez attendre. 
There is an objection by the defense counsel. You may proceed, uh, counsel. Je vous en prie, maître. Je ne sais pas si c'est vraiment une objection, Monsieur le Président, mais je voudrais signaler que d'après les vérifications qui ont été effectuées par mon équipe, il semble qu'il y ait sur ce passage et sur d'autres des problèmes de retranscription du PV de ce témoin. Et je pense qu'il est le moment pour moi de le, de le signaler, notamment sur l'attribution d'un alias. Inform you that there seems to be a missing name and a missing alias. Response. The president. I hand over to Judge Lavergne. Je vais donner la parole au juge Lavergne. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Maître Verken, est-ce que vous pourriez être un peu plus précis pour la Chambre Vous faites état de difficultés, enfin de 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 différences. Mais différence exactly par, rapport par rapport à quoi Par rapport à l'enregistrement audio Est-ce que vous pouvez être un peu plus précis quant à, à, à ces euh, divergences entre euh, l'enregistrement audio et euh, les, euh, les, euh, les, la, la transcription écrite de Conseil Malik de, de quelles de, divergences de question exactly. La divergence porte euh, effectivement, Monsieur le Juge, sur entre L'enregistrement audio de l'entretien de ce témoin avec les enquêteurs des juges d'instruction et la retranscription qui en a été faite dans le procès verbal d'audition. Il semble que dans les enregistrements audio, ce soit les enquêteurs ou l'enquêteur qui interroge cette personne, qui suggère très clairement l'alias de mon client et non pas le témoin qui en parle. Malheureusement, il s'agit d'un audio. Je peux vous donner les références exactes euh, sur l'audio lui-même, mais je n'ai pas la traduction, enfin je n'ai pas le transcript de, écrit de cet audio. Donc, ce sont des vérifications que nous avons effectuées à partir de l'audio. Alors, pour information, sur l'enregistrement concerné, ce passage intervient au bout d'une heure, 26 minutes et 30 secondes. Donc, si, si je comprends bien ce que vous voulez faire, vous dire, c'est que l'alias de euh, M. Kiosampan aurait été suggéré et euh, n'aurait pas été indiqué spontanément par le témoin. C'est exactement ça, M. le Président. Council Verken, oui, c'est exactement ça, Your Honor. Le Président, Prosecutor, vous pouvez continuer et s'il vous plaît, répétez votre dernière question parce qu'il semble que la dernière question ne se souvient pas. Apparemment, le témoin ne s'en souvient pas. Merci, M. le Président. Since the aliases are not an integral part of this, let me ask the question to the witness this way. Uh, as you told Voici the investigating judges, is it correct that when the six of you went to Phnom Penh on this trip, that the people, the leaders you met with, were Ku Sampan, Son Sen, Nun Chea, and Pol Pot? Is that correct? Pol Pot, comme vous l'avez dit au juge d'instruction. Response. That is correct. Oui, c'est exact. 
Uh, how long uh, uh, was the meeting that you had uh, with Kusampan, Nunchea, Son Sen, and Pol Pot? But response. Réponse. We met them uh, for one morning. La réunion a duré une matinée. And to confirm the location Question. of this meeting, uh, was it the Quant same room and same place uh, that you had met with Pol Pot, Nunchea, and Son Sen uh, several months earlier after the death of Lang? Was it the exact same location? But response. That is correct, that was at the same place. Et même and uh, what was discussed at this meeting that took place between you and five other cadres from Sector 105 and Son Sen, Nun Chea, and Pol Pot? What were the subjects of this meeting? But response. response. In that meeting, we uh, discussed réunion, the issue concerning managing the forces uh, and the uh, masses. We had to uh, educate people and raise their awareness about economic matters and how they gens, could uh, have themselves in terms of self-sufficiency. And we had to also advise our forces to strengthen the defense of our border areas. Renforcer la défense des zones frontalières. And at this meeting, did Question. you report uh, to the réunion. Phnom Penh leaders on the activities in sector 105. Les activités du secteur 105. Response: No, I didn't. No. I only reported the overall situation about economic activities, and but we did not report any other activities because we did not see, and neither did we uh, know them parce que nous n'avions pas d'informations à ce sujet. Let me just clarify. Are you saying Question. pour que les choses soient bien claires. That you did report Est-ce que vous avez dit que vous aviez fait un rapport sur sector 105 at this meeting? En rapport avec Are le you saying that you did not report at all que vous dites que on vous what was going on in the sector? Signaler absolument rien concernant ce qui se passait dans ce secteur. Mr. President, témoin, witness, please hold on, and we have to hear the objection by the defense counsel. The defense counsel, you may proceed. Je vous en prie, maître. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Il me semble que la question est répétitive. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Le témoin vient d'y répondre. I believe that the question is repetitive. The witness has already answered it. Simply, Ms. President, the, question, the response was somewhat unclear. I'm trying to clarify what exactly, whether or not they did report on certain subjects. Au témoin de préciser s'il avait fait rapport sur différentes questions. President. Le président. Objection is not uh, sustained. L'objection est rejetée. And the witness is uh, instructed to respond to the last question posed question. by the prosecutor. Le Response. Could you please repeat your last question because I do not question? clearly understand it. Je ne pas bien yeah, my, my question was asking question. you to clarify on whether or not you reported Est-ce que uh, at vous this avez meeting on the situation à in sector 105? Des dirigeants la situation du secteur 105 à cette réunion. Uh, 
Response. Réponse. In that meeting, we reported, réunion, reported uh, mainly on the livelihood of the people, the uh, rice uh, production les moyens de subsistance per year. And la production annuelle de riz. We also reported whether or not uh, people had enough aussi uh, food supply for the year. Sur we did report la quantité de nourriture uh, to that extent, but what I would like to emphasize is that we reported mainly on the livelihood and welfare of the people in our sector. Nous avons principalement fait rapport sur les conditions de vie et les moyens de subsistance de la population du secteur. Thank you, Mr. Witness. L'accusation. Uh, can you tell Merci. us, um, was this a meeting, uh, were you called to this meeting because of some unusual matter or special matter that occurred? Parce que des or was produits? this a a uh, regular meeting uh, uh, at which uh, you were called to report on your activities. Can you tell us that? Was this, a, was this a, a meeting that occurred periodically from time to time, or was this a meeting that resulted because of some special situation? situation du moment. But, Response. Réponse. I do not understand uh, the question. Je pas I, I la don't know which question. meeting uh, you are referring to. Je ne sais pas de uh, could you please uh, simplify the question? Pouvez-vous simplifier la question? Yes, uh, question. thank you. My question is, oui. were there regular uh, meetings uh, at which you were to go to Phnom Penh and report to the leaders on the situation in the situation sector. But, response. When I came to this uh, sector for and I stayed in that sector for uh, two months. And I uh, re provided report to them on the welfare of the people, sur les uh, de vie de la population. whether or not they had sufficient food supply to uh, feed the people in the sector. And I provided reports uh, on several occasions. J'ai présenté des rapports à différentes occasions. We had to report basically on the economic uh, welfare of the people. We did not report about any other activities. They did ask us um, information, uh, for, for information, but uh, we did not know much about other uh, activities. We did not know about those activities, so we did not report. Et donc nous ne faisions pas rapport là-dessus. Thank you. Uh, yesterday, Merci. you told my colleague Hier, that you conference. first met Q Senpan during the Kyo democratic Kampuchea regime. Le du um, you've just described to us one occasion where you met him. Can you describe for rencontré? us any other occasions between April 1975 and January 1979 where you saw Q Senpan? Vous auriez vu que Bad. Response. Réponse. I saw Kilsen Pond when I uh, attended that meeting. I did not know him réunion. clearly Je back ne then. Le pas bien à and when I uh, attended that meeting, Quand I got to know him then. À cette réunion, fait sa connaissance. Did you used to talk to Kilsen Pond? about economic que matters à de uh, during uh, when you would come to Phnom Penh for meetings. À Phnom Penh à des Bad. Réponse. Respond. Yes, I oui. uh, did talk about economic matters Je lui ai uh, parlé with him. De questions économiques. We requested uh, materials uh, to supply to the people, for example, we requested salts and clothes to uh, provide to the people. 
And we also, du sel ou des vêtements uh, pour la population. Uh, as well. Et nous avons aussi traité d'autres questions et nous avons bavardé ensemble. Um, what were the meetings Question. where you would see Q-Sampan and have que discussions vous about que economic matters and make requests de questions uh, for supplies? Et à quelle réunion what were these meetings? Du ravitaillement? À quel type de réunion? Bah, réponse. Response. It was at the same meeting when you, as I told you a bit earlier on. C'était à la même réunion que celle dont je vous ai déjà parlé. And when you say that Question. you made requests for Lorsque vous clothes dites and que other materials to Kusampan, et d'autres denrées à Kusampan, uh, were these written requests? S'agissait-il de demandes écrites Response. Réponse. During the talk, uh, we did not have anything in writing. We only informed him about the uh, actual shortages uh, so that we brought that matter up to their attention. That nous was it. Soumettions cela à son uh, how is it that you knew question. Uh, that uh, Q Sampan Comment was the person to make requests to for such materials? S'adresser pour demander ce genre de bien. Réponse. Response. Because I knew at that time that he was the uh, president of the state presidium. Qu'il était président du présidium de l'État. How many occasions Question. do you recall vos souvenirs, uh, having chit chats with Q Sampan about economic matters or making requests to him avec Q for materials? Combien de fois lui avez-vous demandé des marchandises? Response. Réponse. It was only once when I had that chance to chit chat fois. with him. Je n'ai eu qu'une fois l'occasion de bavarder avec lui. Le président. Thank you. Merci, Witness, Mr. Sao Sarun. Monsieur le témoin Sao Sarun. According to the information you provided to the chamber uh, this morning, that you to your health concern, you can simply provide this testimony for uh, the morning vous avez session dit que vous souhaitiez déposer seulement durant la matinée in view of en raison your, de votre état de santé. Uh, health concern, uh, we would like to check again whether or not uh, you cannot provide testimony this afternoon. Est-ce que vous afternoon? confirmez que correct? vous n'êtes pas en mesure de déposer cet après-midi? Witness, that is correct, Mr. President. Effectivement. Le président. president. Mr. Sao Sarun, Monsieur your Sao testimony Sao. as the witness has not come Votre to an end yet, and taking terminé. into consideration your health concern, the Chamber santé, will not hear your testimony uh, this afternoon, and your testimony will be uh, resumed on Monday the 11th of June 2012, so we invite you to appear before us to provide Vous êtes further testimony on uh, Monday the 11th le June 2012 juin 2012 and this uh, hearing will uh, start from 9 a.m. in the morning. The Chamber wishes to uh, invite the witness and the duty council uh, to appear before us again on Monday. The court officer is instructed to coordinate with the waste unit uh, to facilitate uh, the uh, transportation of the witness uh, back home and bring uh, him back uh, to this courtroom on Monday uh, uh, before 9 a.m. And the chamber wishes to advise the parties that uh, this afternoon, proceedings will 
hear the testimony. Nous allons entendre la déposition de la TCW 323. Et le procureur sera permis de poser la question première. After the question by the president of the chamber, and the time is now uh, appropriate for lunch adjournment. Après the chamber will adjourn uh, now until 1:30 this afternoon. L'audience du matin touche à sa fin. Les débats reprendront Counsel, you may proceed. La parole est à l'avocat qui la demande. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Yes, Dans indeed, la suite much, de la remarque que j'ai faite il y a quelques instants, je voudrais me demander à la Chambre la permission de transmettre à l'unité de retranscription euh, certains passages de l'audio des entretiens de ce témoin avec les enquêteurs euh, du bureau des juges d'instruction. Il n'y en a pas beaucoup, witness, mais euh, nous avons repéré à plusieurs occasions que Judges, certains passages n'avaient pas été transcrits uh, uh, dans le PV d'édition et qu'ils avaient été déformés au moment du passage uh, depuis l'audio vers le PV d'édition. Donc en application de votre mémorandum E142, euh, je demande donc l'autorisation de pouvoir transmettre euh, à l'unité de retranscription euh, les passages que nous avons identifiés. Pursuant to your relative memorandum, I thank you, Your Honours. The President, uh, Counsel for Mr. Nunji, you may proceed. I was hesitant to stand up because my uh, point is not related. It's just announcing that uh, my client would like to spend uh, this afternoon in his holding cell. And we have the waiver prepared, totally unrelated. That's why I didn't want to interrupt. But before. Uh, you closed the, these avant proceedings. Vous, uh, I wanted to make this audience, point. Je voulais informer la chambre de cela. President, Le thank président. you. Having noted the request by Nguyen Thie to the defense counsel, that uh, he waives his right to participate directly in this courtroom for the remainder of the proceedings today. And the defense team will submit the chamber immediately the waiver. Immediately, the document by which Nunchi renounces his right to participate directly in the audience. The request by the uh, by Mr. Nunchi through his defense counsel is granted, so that Mr. Nunchi may follow the proceedings Nunchi from the holding cell uh, downstairs through audio visual means Par for the remainder of the proceedings today. He has expressly waived his right to participate directly in this courtroom. The chamber requires the defense team for Nguyen Chia to submit the chamber immediately the waiver by Mr. Nguyen Chia with uh, his signature or some print. An AV assistant is instructed to connect the La chambre rejoint maintenant le service room, technique pour assurer le lien audiovisuel entre le prétoire et la cellule de détention temporaire. For the remainder of the proceedings uh, this afternoon, de la journée. and security uh, guards are instructed to bring Mr. Nguyen-Chia and Mr. Kim Sampon uh, to the holding cell downstairs. Nguyen and Mr. Nguyen-Chia is, is to be remained at the holding Nguyen cell where audiovisual equipment is connected for him to follow the proceedings by a remote means. And Mr. Kim Sampon is to be brought before uh, this chamber before 1.30 this afternoon. The court is now adjourned. So I'm proud to you.